Hello everybody, what's good? I hope you're all doing well. I'm just going to start off this video and let you all know that we're going to have some fun with today's video. I know that a ton of my videos here center around crochet, but today I wanted to switch up my process a little bit and show you all that I'm still able to create fashionable pieces using different hobbies of mine. So today we're going to aim for sewing. And I'm super excited to announce that this DIY is sponsored by Chungage, and they are a fabric company that is based out of Korea. They are able to design, produce, and distribute their fabric all on their own without any need for a second or third party. And anyone across the board, including beginners, can use their fabrics for DIYs since the quality of the fabric is meant to be multi-purpose. You can use their fabrics for anything around the house, such as pillowcases, bedding, purses, and of course, even clothing. Chungage makes it easy and convenient to purchase high quality fabric at a very reasonable price. So for those of you who are just getting started in the hobby of sewing and you don't want to splurge a ton of money right off of the bat, I highly suggest Chungage as the way to go for beautiful fabric. And what I love about their website is that they offer such a huge selection of fabrics to choose from between waterproof fabric, embroidery fabric, linen, and even organic fabrics. And of course, a big thank you for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and get right on into the DIY. I have saved opening up my package so that I can kind of unbox it for you guys on camera. So I haven't even seen what this looks like in person yet. So I'm just gonna tear into this bad boy. And I'm really hoping that I ordered enough yards of fabric. This fabric feels so soft and comfortable against my skin. I already know off the bat that this is gonna be comfortable to wear as a skirt. So as you guys can hopefully see, I have picked out this gingham checkered print. Kinda of looks like a picnic table. And on their website, this fabric is listed as the ombre check embroidered fabric. So let's go ahead and head on over to my desk area and I can begin giving you guys all the instructions. To make this skirt, these are the materials that you will need. Depending on your size, you'll need anywhere between two to four yards of cotton fabric, one fourth inch grommets, a handy dandy hammer to lock in those grommets, and of course, some all purpose thread. To make the first cut, you'll need to take some measurements on your body. I'm going to start off by measuring the widest part of my hips and adding eight inches to that. So for me, the widest part of my hips run about 32 inches, and from there I'm going to add my eight inches which gets me to 40 inches long. I've also determined that I want this first length of fabric to run about 10 inches long. So I'm going to cut my fabric at 40 inches wide and 10 inches long. To begin sewing, I'm going to take the top edge of my fabric, fold it down by a quarter of an inch, and sew all along this top edge. Now that I have that top edge folded over and sewn down, I can fold my fabric in half with the wrong sides touching and sew down my middle seam. And now that I have my middle seam sewn together, really quickly I'm just gonna go in with some chalk and mark off two and a half inches away from the top edge of my skirt. And keep in mind that I'm marking the chalk on the wrong side of my fabric. I'm going to use this chalk marking as a reference guide in order to help me sew down a straight waistline. But before I can go ahead and fold over that waistline, I'm going to turn around to the front part of my skirt. And staying on the wrong side of my fabric, I'm going to find the very middle part of my skirt. And from here, I'm going to mark out in chalk three inches away from the center, and this is going to help mark the areas that I can't sew down yet. And along this pink chalk mark, I'm going to go ahead and mark out about three inches away from my center. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start here at this marking and fold over my top band to meet that pink chalk line. And once I get that band to match up with that chalk line, I can go ahead and sew it down at a quarter of an inch. And now that I'm coming up to the other marking again, I can go ahead and stop sewing right here. So now I have my waistband all sewn down and because I left this little channel open right here, I'm able to go in and add my eyelets a little bit easier. And now in order to add my two eyelets to the skirt, I need to go in and mark about an inch and a half away from the center of my skirt. And now I can start applying the two grommets to my skirt using the little tools that came in the kit. So first I'm going to make two tiny cuts right where I've marked on my fabric and I'm going to make sure that I only pierce through this one layer of my fabric. So now that I've made those two little cuts, I can go ahead and insert my grommet into one side of my fabric. And now I can match it up with the second piece. Use my little tool here and hammer it in place. And now that I have my first little grommet put on, I can go ahead and repeat that on my second cut. So getting my fabric back out, I'm gonna go ahead and mark off 80 inches wide and cut my strip at six inches long. And now that I have my new strip all cut out, I'm gonna head on over to my sewing machine and sew one long stitch all along the top edge of this fabric. And my technique with sewing the one straight line across the top of my fabric is to tug on the string and gather up the fabric until it reaches the width of the 40 inches of the bottom of our skirt. So I've just finished adding that first gathering stitch and right below that stitch I'm going to go in and add my second gathering stitch. And now I can go ahead and gather up the top of this skirt. So I'm going to hold on to my two threads here at the end and begin cinching up this tier. And because I cut this second strip of fabric at 80 inches long, I'm going to continue to gather up this top edge until it reaches 40 inches in length. So we want to reduce this strip by half. All right, so I've just finished gathering up the second tier, and now I can begin sewing it onto my very first panel. So what I'm gonna do is place it wrong side to the right side of my fabric. So I'm gonna have both of my right sides facing towards me. And with this frilly edge of my fabric on the outside, I'm going to sew it on two and a half inches up from the bottom of my tier. And now that I have that second tier sewed on, I can go ahead and sew together the middle seam on that second tier to close up the back. And just like this previous piece, my third tier needs to be two times as wide as this one. So keep in mind, I cut this second tier at 80 inches wide. So my next tier needs to be 160 inches wide. And as for length, I'm going to cut that at six inches long. And following the same steps, I'm gonna go ahead and sew two parallel straight stitches all along this top fabric. And from there, I'm gonna cinch it up, gather it up until it reaches the 80 inches around to match my bottom tier. So I'm back again, and as you guys can see, I have those two parallel straight stitches sewn down. 
and my goal is to shorten this entire piece of fabric to reach the 80 inches around on the bottom of this skirt. All right, I'm back and I've just finished sewing on my third and final tier. And the next step for you guys would be to fold in and hem the very bottom of your skirt. Um, if you guys have raw edges, I would highly recommend that you fold over and sew that down so that it doesn't shed over time. But because I used the very edge of the fabric here, um, I actually really like how it looks frayed and messy here on the bottom and I'm going to choose to leave my skirt just as it is like this with this raw hem. But now my very last step for the skirt is to create the tie strap that's going to be strung up through my little grommets here. I've already gone ahead and cut out a strip that is 60 inches long and two inches wide. And this is what we're gonna to use to tie up our skirt. And in order to turn this strip into a tie strap, I'm going to fold both of the edges towards the center of the fabric. And at that point, I'm going to fold the fabric in half again and sew all the way down the edge of the tie strap. And now that I've finished sewing together my tie straps, I'm just gonna take a safety pin, pierce it through one end of my strap. And now I can thread my tie strap all along this waist edge of the skirt and bring it back out through this grommet. And once I finish weaving my tie strap into my skirt, I can go back into this waistband here and finish sewing down this very top edge of the waist.